If you're playing video games today, chances are you're playing them online. Players now spend the vast majority of their time on PCs and consoles, duking it out with each other on all sorts of different titles, with the rise of ranking systems and esports only making play even more competitive. If you opt for that sort of thing in the first place, of course. But as the stakes get raised and players get more and more invested, the potential to suffer embarrassment only greatens. You see, at all stages of a game, developers tend to allow conditions for players to die in all sorts of humiliating ways, with everything from underpowered weapons to horrendous kill animations allowing opponents to twist the knife in as they claim their next victim, most of them Josh Brown. If you happen to be on the receiving end of one of these kills, and god knows how many times I have, then you'll know that the usual reaction tends to be one of simultaneous disbelief and acceptance. Sometimes, you just have to admire the graft other players put in to punish your mistakes. So, in the spirit of raising up our collective hands and going, you know what, fair play. I'm Ewan, this is What Culture Gaming, and here are the 10 most humiliating ways to die in multiplayer games. Number 10. Getting Sledged Slash Various Assorted Deaths, Rainbow Six Siege Ah, uh, Rainbow Six Siege has been my true love this past console generation. I've spent goodness knows how many hours on it, I know the exact figure and it is, well it doesn't matter, and in that time I've fallen victim to a menagerie of embarrassing deaths. For every 1v5 overtime clutch I get in, and I definitely do that, why would you doubt me, there seems to be about a dozen more sledgehammer kills, breach charge deaths, and various utility mishaps that take me out of plat and down into the sordid lows of gold, along with the Josh Browns of the world. But like I said before, you can't help but admire the level of that goes into each of these deaths. If you're distracted enough to fall victim to a sledgehammer kill, then fair play to your opponents, it's kind of funny. Same goes for being on such low health that you cower at the sight of a twitch drone heading in your direction, or a maestro evil eye powering up around the corner. What exacerbates any of these methods of execution though is when they arrive when you're downed. You're pretty much powerless, crawling around the floor, and if your would-be killer is carrying a breaching charge and can attach it to a nearby surface, then you can be certain you'll be getting blown to high heaven. Number 9. Getting Lassoed, Red Dead Redemption 2 Back when it first started out, Red Dead Online was probably even wilder than the era in which it takes place. With barely anything to do in the open world, players would seek out each other to grief them repeatedly, ruining fishing trips and campfire seshes in a barrage of gunfire dynamite and, worst of all, the lasso. The lasso physics in Red Dead are really something to behold, and besides that it's the tool every player will have to use at some point or another. It's instrumental if you want to capture enemies, and when turned against your fellow player, it can become a real instrument of torture. Emerging out of the Valentine Saloon after feasting on whiskey and almonds, I've been dragged to death by a lasso, hogtied by a lasso and then shot in the head, trampled on and beaten up, lassoed multiple times with no escape in sight, and well, that's why I don't go back to Valentine time anymore. It's a bad time. Valen bad time, I call it. I don't call it that, I just thought I was being clever. It is worth pointing out that Rockstar does give the player the opportunity to escape their bindings, but when you have an entire posse get the drop on you out of nowhere, sometimes the only alternative is to hit the menu and jump into a different session. Number 8. Carrying a sticky grenade to your teammate, Halo. It's easy to take for granted now, but back when Halo was at its peak under Bungie, the series had some of the best physics systems in gaming. It led to all sorts of brilliant encounters, and exemplified the studio's dedication to making Halo's multiplayer the best in the business. However, you could still be killed in some pretty wacky ways, even if you were the most finely tuned BR user in the lobby. Of these assorted scenarios, the weapon that found itself most frequently involved was the plasma grenade, or a sticky grenade as it's more commonly known. The device could travel across all sorts of gravity lifts and if it stuck to you, you were as good as dead. The entire thing was made infinitely, infinitely worse though if you happen to be next to a teammate, as you'd effectively lead them to their demise too. There's nothing worse than being turned into a walking piece of live ordnance, and especially not when you're now responsible for the deaths of your teammates. Number 7. Killing yourself with your own killstreak, Call of Duty Love it or hate it, there aren't many things in gaming that can match the thrill of racking up a killstreak in Call of Duty. Dating back to Call of Duty 4, players have stumbled and panicked their way into accumulating obscenely high killstreak rewards, allowing them to call in everything from airstrikes and helicopters to something as ridiculous as a quote-unquote tactical nuclear bomb. 
Most of the time, these rewards give players a massive boost and can put some real distance between you and the opposite team. Other times, though, that eagerness to get onto the next streak can end up having the opposite effect. There is absolutely nothing, nothing worse in these games than when you call it an airstrike in the heat of the moment, only to then accidentally walk into it as you're on your way to your next big kill streak. It's a difficult thing to do, sure, but when it happens, oh boy, does it stink. Number 6. Getting your block knocked off. Friday the 13th The Game Friday the 13th The Game is a glitchy love letter to the iconic horror franchise, and while said glitches can often prove to be its undoing, fans of the series are sure to get a kick out of playing the multiplayer when everything starts clicking together. The jank is still a part of the charm though, and should any of the camp counsellors find themselves unlucky enough to be singled out by Jason, they can expect a gruesome fate. There are all sorts of homages to the films in these executions, with undoubtedly the worst and, let's face it, most embarrassing of these being the one where the eponymous slasher knocks your block off a la Jason Takes Manhattan. Somehow, some way, the devs managed to make it look even more ridiculous in-game than it was on screen, with Jason knocking your head off with about the same amount of ease it takes a child to behead a Lego minifigure when the construction booklet isn't going their way. It isn't pretty, and while getting taken out of any game is a bad time, if you're on the receiving end of this decapitation, you've just gotta sit back and laugh. Or pull that face. You know, the whole gah face what a boy makes when Jason rocks up. Oh, what a good time. Number 5. Booped off the map. Overwatch. It might have gone through all sorts of twists and changes since its 2016 launch, but there are still a few titles out there that can match Overwatch when it comes to engaging team-based multiplayer. In many ways, it represents the pinnacle of hero-based shooters, and while it's nowhere near as big as it was during its debut, any and all challenges that have come for Overwatch's crown have failed to dethrone it. There are so many ways to get something out of Overwatch, as opposed to most shooters where kills are the main commodity. Pulling off a satisfying ult and chaining eliminations together is great fun, but of course, the most embarrassing deaths tend to be the most simple, and when it comes to Overwatch, there's one way to go that's particularly humiliating, getting booped off the map. Whether it's Lucio using his alternate fire or Winston raging out, there's nothing worse than being on the point and getting knocked off the map, watching the objective slip through your fingers as the opposing diva waves goodbye. It's the Hans Gruber of video game deaths, and it never gets easier the more it happens. Number 4. Unlikely Vehicle Deaths – GTA Online like its eventual successor Red Dead Online, GTA Online is a lawless land filled to the brim with bored players laden with enough weaponry to level a whole city, which as anyone who plays GTA Online will tell you, tends to happen a lot. One of the biggest changes to the game's multiplayer came in 2016 with the further adventures in Finance and Felony update, which forced players to grind out money in packed lobbies to earn their millions. Sadly, this also involved a lot of griefing, and when one player manages to ruin all your planning with one well-placed homing missile, it's only natural to want revenge, right? Right? Yes, this is the tale of one such encounter I had with an opponent in GTA all the way back in 2016. They ruined my scheme, got into a plane, and tried to escape. I leapt after them in pursuit with a friend, hoping to catch them at their next destination. The resulting exchange, not to toot my own horn or anything, was frankly wonderful. Let me set the stage. The opposing player climbs in altitude like an agile goose, hoping that my smaller plane would stall, allowing them to make a quick getaway. Believing that the trail has gone cold, they bail out, only for my plane to take them out completely in mid-air. Anyway, these little interactions are what made GTA Online such a runaway success. Sure, it might be a little bit extra, but in a setting as ridiculous as Los Santos, we can be permitted for being a little self-indulgent. Number 3. Crashing before you've even taken off. Battlefield. I don't know about anyone else, but my gateway into Battlefield came with Bad Company 2. I played 1943 extensively in the previous summer and a little bit of the first Bad Company before that, but the sequel was really where the series shined brightest, at least to me. While the developers and DICE have been busy honing their approach to modern combat in the ensuing decade, nailing the whole easy-to-learn, difficult-to-master element that so many games covet, Bad Company 2 had some teething issues if you were a first-time player. The amount of times you'd see players camping out the spawn of a helicopter only to get it and then crash the thing in takeoff was comedic gold, and I'm positive it's still a familiar sight in subsequent entries. Number 2. Landing in the map, and then dying immediately, PUBG, Fortnite, and Apex 
This one you might be able to chalk up to poor planning, but there is absolutely nothing worse than playing one of these Battle Royale games and dying before you've even gotten your hand on the most meagre of weaponry. Map knowledge is everything when it comes to PUBG, Fortnite, and Apex Legends, and if you're a newcomer landing in a hot zone, chances are you'll find yourself looking for a new lobby in no time at all. It's the ultimate humiliation in these sorts of games, and where are still if an opponent lands next to you and manages to take you down with their bare hands. And number one, getting repair tool to death, Battlefield. Another Battlefield entry here, and this time it's a tribute to the always reliable and multifunctional repair tool. Every entry in the Battlefield franchise has featured some variation of the tool at some point or another, and whether it's a drill, wrench, or blowtorch, it can prove surprisingly deadly in the right hands. By right hands, I do of course mean players who delight in inflicting misery on unsuspecting foes, and in Battlefield, a series filled to the brim with self-interested snipers and campers, they have the ideal conditions. Whether they're burning someone slowly to death at the edge of the map, or slowly depleting the health of an enemy vehicle, Battlefield's repair tool has been providing humiliating deaths for years now, and it doesn't show any signs of stopping anytime soon. And yeah, that was our list. Please let me know the most embarrassing deaths you've suffered in multiplayer down in the comments below. Once you've done that, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and to head back on over to whatculture.com forward slash gaming for more news, lists, and articles like this every day. I've been Ewan, you can catch me on Twitter at Ewan Ruins Things, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!